Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain another example on interpolation. See, evaluate f of 9. We have to find out the functioning value at the point x is equal to 9 using the following data. Okay, first row represents the x values, second row represents the respective functioning values at x values. Okay, see. Clearly here we are observing that x values does not separated by the equal difference. So given data has unequal parts. So whenever given data has unequal parts, to find out the unknown functioning value, we have to use Lagrange's interpolation formula. Okay, don't use either Newton's forward, otherwise Newton's backward when given data has no equal space. Okay. See. Here, first put the names for x values first x value is represented by x0 x0 is equal to 5 and x1 is equal to 7 x2 is equal to 11 x3 is equal to 13 x4 is equal to 17 next respect to y values are represented by y0 it would be 150 y1 is given as 392 y2 is 1492 and y3 is 2, 3, double 6 and finally y4 is equal to 5 to 0 2. Okay, what is our aim? We have to find y of x, sorry, f of x, both are same. f of x at the point x is equal to 9. Okay, since given data has, given data has unequal parts, Okay, unequal parts means x values are, does not have the equal difference. Okay, we can use Lagrange's interpolation formula. Lagrange's interpolation formula. Okay, you should write that formula now, that is y of x is equal to otherwise f of x is equal to as you wish x minus x naught okay first skip the first term of x so you will get x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 into x minus x4 whole by now write the differences from x naught so which is missing value Okay, x0 minus x3, x0 minus x4 into y0. Plus, see the next term. In the next term, you can skip the second term of x value. So, you will write the subtractions from x of remaining x values. x minus x0, x minus x2. Okay, x minus x3 into x minus x4. Whole, in, whole by. Okay, now write the subtractions of remaining x values from x1 now which is missing value x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 into x minus x1 minus x4 into y1 okay plus so on okay since five values are given to you one two three four five you have you will get five terms in the formula okay now replace all values whenever we have x replace it by 9 and uh, x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 values are here okay so y of 9 is equal to x minus x1 so you can skip 5 now write the subtractions of x values from 9 9 minus 7 directly we will write that 9 minus 7 is 2 9 minus 11 it would be minus 4, 9 minus 13. Oh, it is only minus 2. Okay. 9 minus 11 is minus 2 only. 9 minus 11 is minus 4. No. Minus 4. 9 minus 17. Minus 8. By open this term. Now write the subtractions from 5. 5 minus 7. Minus 2. 5 minus 11. Minus 6. 5 minus 13 minus 8 into 5 minus 17 finally it is minus 12 whole into write y value y not value in the product 150 plus okay 
Now skip the second term. Write the subtractions of x values from 9. Okay. So you will get 9 minus 5. It would be 4. 9 minus 11. It would be minus 2. 9 minus 13. Minus 4. 9 minus 17. Minus 8. All by now write the subtractions from 7. 7 minus 5, 2. 7 minus 11, minus 4. 7 minus 13, minus 6. 7 minus 17, minus 10 into 392. Okay. Similarly, we have to write the remaining three terms also. Now skip the third term. For third term, you should skip third x value. Write the subtractions of x values from 9. 9 minus 5, 4. 9 minus 7, 2. 9 minus 13, minus 4. 9 minus 17 minus 8 whole by open this value this missing value and write the subtractions from 11 11 minus 5 6 11 minus 7 4 11 minus 13 minus 2 11 minus 17 minus 6 whole into 1492 plus fourth term so you can skip 13 now 9 minus 5 4 9 minus 7 2, 9 minus 11 minus 2 9 minus 17 it would be minus 8 whole by open this term 13 minus 5 8 13 minus 7 6 13 minus 11 2 13 minus 17 minus 4 whole into 2003 double 6 okay 23 double 6 last term plus skip the last term Okay, write the subtractions from 9. 9 minus 5, 4. 9 minus 7, 2. 9 minus 11, minus 2. 9 minus 13, minus 4. All by, write the subtractions from 17 now. 17 minus 5, 12 into. 17 minus 7, 10 into. 17 minus 11, <coughs> 6. Next, 4. Into 5202. By using scientific calculator, you can easily conclude that the value of this one is 810. Okay. Right in the bracket approximately. You can easily check in our calculator. No problem. So this is the value of y at 9. And one more important thing is y of 9 should be lies between y of 5 and uh, y of 7 and y of 11. Okay. This is the value at 7 and this is the value at 11. So since 9 lies between 7 and 11, y of 9 should lies between y of 7 and y of 11. So, I got 810. Okay, I got 810. In the next video, I will give some more examples on it. Thank you very much.